favorite movie. Any questions here? No, he's really got me any, thinking. Any questions on Zoom for James? <laughs> hey James, Trevor Gross from SeatTigers.com. Um, just take us through that uh, incredible goal line stand Saturday night. Um, I'm not sure many people thought that uh, you'd be able to stop them on four consecutive plays when they had first and two. Well, that's the it's a good thing about being inside out is it doesn't really matter what people think. Uh, but you know, obviously, we didn't want to be in that situation. Uh, they made a good, they made two pretty amazing plays. I thought Rio's in good coverage on the kind of the first bomb they threw, and then fourth and one they converted. That I don't even know how that guy caught that ball. Uh, but yeah, balls on the two yard line. They got four downs to to score, and and we muscled up and made some some huge plays. You know, we just we pulled it out and. Uh, it was it was great to be a part of that. We've seen you guys do that so many times over the years uh, in so many games. Uh, obviously, we have a great defense in general overall, but it seems like you're even tougher as more on uh, with walking into the red zone and inside the ten. What what makes you guys so tough in those short area situations? I think it's just will, man, will to keep people out of the end zone. You know, it. Uh, I mean, I've been. I've been a part of countless goal line stands now since I've been here, which is pretty cool. And uh, man, it's just a bunch of guys, you know, in the huddle together, kind of talking to each other, like they're not getting in this end zone. Like, and uh, that's kind of what we did, man. We just made a decision that we're gonna, you know, give everything we got, and whatever happens, happens, and we've come out on the right side of it again. Yeah, I mean, you know, we're screaming, yelling. I can't, you know, share some of the words that are actually said. Uh, I mean, we knew, we knew uh, Cunningham was. I mean, that's their go-to. I mean, they're they're going to get the ball to him. Um, and uh, once we got him to fourth and goal, I think we were pretty comfortable with with what was coming next and that we could stop it. But the key is stopping, slowing that guy down. Uh, I mean, we knew he was about to get the ball. You know, they were going to run the football, and he was going to be the guy. So. Yeah, you know, in open field maybe, but right there, I mean, I think the first play, uh, they ran a stretch. R.J. Mickens inside out makes a great tackle. The second play, uh, we had a little blitz, and I think I made the tackle on Cunningham. But I didn't even pay attention to the running back because, I mean, it's balls on the two-yard line. Cunningham's keeping the ball. Like he, I mean, we knew he was going to keep the ball. And then uh, the third play, they run a little outside zone with the quarterback again. And again, inside out, great pursuit. We made a big play. So, I mean, every single one of them, I think you see guys fighting like hell to, you know, keep the edge and force them back inside. Uh, and like, and that's a little harder to do in open field, but you know, in the goal line right there, there's only so much space. Uh, we we accomplished the task. So. Uh, I mean, he made some huge, two, two huge tackles in those in those four downs. Uh, don't get me wrong; none of us were perfect that game. I mean, they, I mean, look at the stat sheet. I mean, I think he had like 170 yards rushing that guy. And uh, I mean, I had some misfits. I mean, Mickens had some misfits. You know, we've had some things that didn't go our way. But what matters most is when it mattered most. You know, we had guys like that step up and make plays, and uh, that's all you can ask for. So we just got to get back, you know, learn from the mistakes, own it, and uh, continue to try to make big plays and big moments. What's the secret of halftime adjustments? Because I don't know if people realize that in the locker room, he only gets maybe five minutes with you at the max. At the max, when he has to listen. What's the real key to halftime? Uh, you know, I'm still, I'm still learning that myself. You know, that's a question for Coach V. You know, I'm just all ears trying to soak up everything he has to say. But uh, I mean, I, th I think it's, it's the key is just trying to make small details to disrupt what they're doing well, you know, because you could have one plan that's taking away something they do well, but on another thing they do well, they're kind of have our number. So it's about, you know, making small, tiny adjustments to just disrupt whatever they were doing well in that first half. And then, you know, seeing how it affects and then not even halftime adjustments, I mean, we're full on in-game adjustments, you know. Any time that uh, 
you know, we're off the field, it's, you know, on the sideline huddled up. Coach V is, is, is putting something together, you know, going over what they did well and, and how we can be better at stopping it. James, you guys, you know much about UConn so far and some of the struggles they're having this year. Or does it, even matter? it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's a college football team with college football players who, uh, I mean, I know they got a new coach. I think they're being pretty creative offensively, and uh, I mean, they they pose you know some threats in, in spaces. You know, they're it's just another opponent, and that's how we need to look at it. And if we were looking at it in any other way, you know, there's an issue. So, but I, but I know this team is is locked in, and it's just we're playing Clemson this week again. You know, we say it all the time here. We're just playing Clemson, and it's a good opportunity for us to just keep building on what we're what we got going. Yeah, you talk about people on the outside not really paying attention. I mean. After Georgia, after Georgia Tech, when we are people on the outside talking about what's the matter with this offense, and yet they keep grinding week after week and have you know made the plays that have won a bunch of games for you guys too. That's got to be something to say about who I'm, they are. I mean, stuff. past two weeks when we needed it from them, I mean they they showed up big time. I mean they're getting better and better. Uh, I mean, there's no, there was never a doubt in my mind that that was, that was going to happen. I mean, I, I believe it. We all believe it. And it's just being patient. Just keep working, you know, keep keep knocking away, and uh, it'll come. So and that's kind of what you're seeing right now. I mean, I know you say one game at a time, but, I mean, do you sit here and think, hey, you know, we still got a chance to be champions in the ACC? Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a possibility, right? Okay. It's a possibility. And so, until it's no longer a possibility, I won't sit here and tell you tell you that. I mean, I believe it. You got. I mean, that's how. I mean, that's how you know. That's how we get preached to. That's how you got to believe that. You have a, you have to have an unshakable belief about any possibilities. And uh, if we just keep taking care of our business, then maybe that'll happen for us. And you know, fingers crossed, it does. Um, I don't think I've learned something new. I think I've, I've had more validation on the kind of guys we have here and uh, what this place is all about. Uh, my first five, yeah, that sounds weird to say, but uh, pretty smooth sailing, you know, as far as being 12-0 and a lot of the times, ACC championship, you now you're going to the playoff, you know, and competing for national championships. And this year's just been a little different. I mean, every single game has been – last possession and it's fun don't get me wrong like I'm having a hell of a time playing football this year uh, and probably the most fun I've had since I've been here to be honest with you maybe it's not the season that uh, we've hoped for but I mean I love the guys we got in the room I love I love the chemistry I love everything about what this year's brought um, and so I don't think I've like I don't think we've learned anything new I just think it's kind of validating the foundation we've built and, and validating, you know, what it takes to win a game and how hard it is to win consistently for a very long time. And that's just what we're going to keep trying to do. If we end, finish strong well, I think we'll continue to build a good foundation for, you know, next year's team and the next year and the next year and the next year. I mean, every team is special. Every I've enjoyed every every group. Uh, I think this year's just. I mean, this is I'm a, a old head in the room, you know, kind of a a, a senior leader. Uh, so I don't know. It's just uh, like I said, the chemistry's really good. Uh, man, always smiling, always laughing. I mean, there's not a dull moment with these guys. Uh, you know, and then. I mean, it just rubs off everywhere, you know, and uh, so it's been my, fo my the most fun I've had playing football, you know, ever in my life, for sure. Yeah. 
I haven't gone there. I'm so you know locked in on task in hand, but uh, that's crazy to think about. That's crazy. Uh, played a lot of football in that stadium, so it's going to be weird knowing it's you know the last couple. Uh, it's going to be emotional. You know, you may see me cry out there. Just go ahead and say that, yeah. But uh, no, it'll be awesome, though. It'll be. It's been a great. It's been a great ride. You know, it's been. I've enjoyed every every second of playing football here and uh, playing in that stadium. So, I'm just going to try to end it the right way. Anything else for James? And I guess I was going to ask uh, Scott Cunningham. Was he? Did he catch you by surprise at all? Was he any faster than you thought, or was it about what you were expecting from Tate? No, it's about what we expected. No, he's a. He's a he's a baller. I mean, that guy can play some football. I mean, he he's run away from everybody. Uh, and uh, but I mean, I mean, I, I could go through the tape with you right now. I could talk through every big play they've had and you know what we did wrong. I mean, we misfit a lot of things. You know, people just see this guy making plays, and he did give a lot of credit to Louisville. I mean, they played a great game. They have a great offensive line. They got great skill, great quarterback. Give them a lot of credit. Don't get me wrong, but uh, there's also a lot of areas where we're half a step too late, or on the wrong side of someone, or I'm I'm fitting somewhere where a guy is, it thinks he should be fitting, and it's just not the case, or or vice versa. Uh, so we didn't help ourselves a lot either, um, and that's something you know. A lot of the times, outside in, you don't really understand or see, uh, and that's and that's fine. It's part of the game, but you know. Like I say, give him a lot of credit, but also we need to help ourselves a little better and be more precise and, and take better angles and, and funnel the ball back to, to our help. Yeah, I think he's he's become a little more vocal. Uh, I mean, he's always been a level-headed, steady, you know, confident guy. You know, he's been under the spotlight for I mean, for for years now. So, you know, he he understands uh, he understands what that's like. He understands the responsibility that comes with that. And the the greatest like that that's the, the I don't think I've seen anything different than he's just been steady, just reliable, steady, level-headed, you know, s smooth as can be, you know, just shows up every day and goes to work. It doesn't look phased at all, no matter what's going on. And uh, that's good to see when that's your quarterback, you know. And and same with Tyson. I think Tyson's done a great job of, of elevating that room, and, you know, during moments and times and, and, you know, just they work together really well. They work, yeah. So they make each other better, and then you know DJ, just being steady, level-headed. Jamie, uh, just curious, when you play more nickel and, and dime, it, it of course makes you a lot more versatile, You're able to do a lot of different things. But when you play against a, a team's really good running, like outside zone, and also uh, running inside, is it just naturally harder from a numerical and maybe even a size perspective to? to hold up as well uh, with, uh, against the run? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, you could – there's there's a lot of arguments you could take on why this happened or why that happened. or, But, um, you know, I think Coach V always has a great game plan, and the numbers are right, I can tell you that. You know, he, he thinks about it. You know, if there's – you know, four guys here, it's five gaps to cover. And, you know, we've always got that down. Uh, so it's about guys executing and being, being physical. And I think you got to give Louisville a lot of credit. I mean, that was a – I mean, we were, me and Balin were talking during the game, and that was a big, physical, heavy-handed O-line. Really knew what they were doing, knew how to target, uh, comfortable in their scheme. Uh, and, like, now that's, a, that's a good offense, a very good offense. And, you know – uh, they, they got some big ones on us, and a lot of those those big runs are, you know, guys in wrong gaps or guys not fitting things correctly. And you know, 
there was there was a couple drives uh, where, where they were getting you know eight eight nine apiece on, on some stretches, and I think that's us just having to be more physical and and be better at the point of attack. And like I said, it's all about how you fit things. Uh, you know, there's countless plays where I wish I could have back and, and do something a little different. And I'm sure there's ten other dudes that were on the field that would say the same. I guess to your point, you could argue that just a week earlier, y'all did okay stopping Florida State's run. Same. Yeah. Same exactly. You know, uh, I think I, we, we do a lot of looking in the mirror around here. You know, I don't want to sit here and be like, we should have been in this or should have been in that. Man, I'm not a DC. I, I don't. Even, I'm not even close to to that yet. Uh, so I rather you know kind of look in the mirror and, and say, what what could I have done better?